So today's video is about how chronic and traumatic stress can lead to a gut disorder. The relationship between the gut and the brain has been the subject of numerous studies over the past decade. And what's come to light in many studies is that having a history of trauma may make it more likely to have a gut disorder. The connection between your gut and your nervous system is inseparable. And the vagus nerve creates that two-way communication highway starting out in the brainstem, traveling all the way down through the gut to the colon, touching almost every organ in kind. But most importantly, it penetrates the gastrointestinal wall. Now it's not just brain biochemistry that changes following chronic and traumatic stress. The gut changes too, and this has enormous effect on both your psychological and your physical health. The brain sends signaling molecules to the bacteria under stress, changing both their behavior and their composition. Now, if you think of the gut microbiome like soil, the balance between the good and the bad bacteria will affect the neurotransmitters and the hormones there. So what we see under chronic stress is that serotonin production can be affected. This is the feel good hormone and we know that low serotonin levels can be linked with depression. On the other hand, the anti-anxiety neurotransmitter known as GABA can also be affected when the microbiome changes. This can, of course, lead to us becoming more anxious. These changes to the microbiome can affect mood, emotion, concentration, immunity, and unfortunately they can lead to things like inflammation. The other change that we see in the gut following chronic and traumatic stress is the change to gut motility, or the movement of food through the digestive tract. Now, when we move into the sympathetic nervous system state, or fight or flight, Blood moves away from the gut and it goes to our limbs and to other parts to get us ready to run away or to fight. And this was only designed to be about 10 minutes in length. But if we're spending long periods of time in the state of fight or flight, we can end up with chronic constipation, which can lead to long-term gut issues like IBS. On the other hand, if we move into a state where we shut down or we become immobilized or we freeze and dissociate from our body, this can actually speed up the motility of food through the digestive tract, which is not good for our microbiome either. When we can influence the 80% of the vagus nerve fibers that travel from the body up to the brain, it gives us an opportunity to re-regulate the nervous system and the digestive tract by the 20% of the fibers that travel down into our body. So the health of the gut is mirrored in psychological health and vice versa. We can't separate out the two, but we can influence the vagus nerve, which is that two-way communicator. And neural exercises that we use that target the vagus nerve will lead to an improvement in the digestive system, the immune system, cardiovascular systems, and can help us return to the state where rest, repair, rejuvenation happen, and our psychological and physical health will improve. If you'd like to learn more about the vagus nerve and the way that it can improve our health, I'll pop the details below.